It's been called one of the most exclusive clubs in the world, but it only takes one lucky moment to become a lifelong member. London, 1785. The betting book at Brooks's, a prominent gentleman's club, records a wager payout between two delightfully randy aristocrats, Lord Chalmondeley and Lord Derby. The former challenged the latter to get into a lady's knickerbockers while 1,000 yards from the earth. According to the record books, Lord Derby purchased a hot air balloon, found the willing lass, promptly collected the 500 guineas he was owed from Chalmondeley, and invented a whole new kink, mid-flight coitus. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, 1903. After years of trial and error, Orville and Wilbur Wright invent an airplane that actually flies. If the freaky-ass lords Chaumondelay and Derby would have lived to see this, they undoubtedly would have thought, hell yeah, I'd like to bone in there. Luckily, the legacy of sex in the air didn't die with our horny lords. 1914, American pilot Lawrence Berry invents autopilot, making long flights much less taxing on pilots and freeing up their hands to do, um, you know, like, whatever they want, really. A situation Sperry himself soon took full advantage of. 1916, Sperry takes a woman named Cynthia Polk into the air for a flying lesson, but they're soon found completely naked, treading water in a nearby lake. Sperry claims that the plane crashed and the force of the impact tore their clothes off midair. <laughs> Classic Sperry. This led to perhaps the greatest tabloid headline of all time, aerial petting ends in wedding, and the concept of boning on a plane is promptly inserted into the hearts and minds of Americans. Thanks, Sperry. In the 1930s, stunt pilot Pancho Barnes repeatedly says, flying makes me feel like a sex maniac in a whorehouse with a stack of $20 bills. He was another big proponent for the Mile High Club, obviously. Then a bunch of stuff happened and we can only assume some more people started porking on airplanes. 1978, this is when things really start to heat up. The Airline Deregulation Act helped create more flights with cheaper fares. Now almost everyone could afford to fly, people stopped wearing suits on planes, and naturally, more people started boning in the skies. 1992, NASA astronauts Mark Lee and Jan Davis meet during training, secretly marry, and are sent into space on an official mission. Now they and NASA claim no funny business happened, but I think there's a damn good chance they became the first members of the 62 Mile High Club, if you know what I'm saying. 1999, two passengers flying from Dallas to Manchester stripped down and started making sweet love in the middle of business class. They were promptly arrested, but we can only assume Assume Lord Chamondelay and Derby were smiling down from that great raunchy hot air balloon in the sky. Now I think it's important to note the legality of the Mile High Club here, so I asked my friend, a flight attendant, to clear this up. She said, It is technically illegal, but honestly, if you are in the bathroom, there's not much we can do to stop you. Good to know! Also in the late 90s, airlines like British Airways and Singapore Airlines introduced first-class two-person suites with giant beds. They practically invite the romance with promotions showing rose petals on the bed and free champagne. But almost immediately, officials from Singapore Airlines called the Mile High Club a particularly worrying trend as it's quickly realized these suites are 100% not soundproof. Hey, I wonder how they figured that out. 2007, a flight attendant from Qantas Airlines is fired after allegedly having sex with actor Ray Fiennes on a commercial flight. 2011, the results of a Skyscanner survey claimed that a whopping 20% of people have had some type of sex on an airplane, while similar surveys show results closer to 3% of people, but also, I mean, having sex isn't something that people lie about, right? 2013, for everyone who's too scared to risk it, Flamingo Air launches in Cincinnati. For $425, you'll get a one-hour private plane ride complete with comfy mattress, chocolates, free champagne, and most importantly, a curtain between you and the very discreet pilot. 2014, in Vegas, a similar service launch is called Love Cloud. This one costs $800, but you get a bigger plane and complimentary lube to boot. 2019, on a 65-minute American Airlines flight from the Bahamas to Miami, Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee and his girlfriend are caught on film entering and exiting the public bathroom together, and nothing Nothing happened except some tabloids picked it up, so if you got away with it, you could probably get away with it too. I'm just saying, started almost as soon as it possibly could have, proving yet again that human beings will have sex almost anywhere. Thank you, Mile High Club, for helping us bring sex to a whole nother level, and just saying, having sex in Denver doesn't count. You gotta be in the air. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you learned a little something today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment with the topic you want us to hit next, and share it with a loved one. I'm sure they would like to hear from you.